It scares them at first, but then they realize, oh, that I can use that. So that's that kind of reflexive to purposeful. So, so versus kind of an accident, and then they realize they can use that to, to get around. And then all of a sudden they get the shoulder and arm control and strength, and then they kind of start crawling around, and then that leads to sitting and crawling and then walking. So I have a few videos just because I want to show kind of the continuity of these patterns. And the, first, the one on the left there is my daughter, the other two are my son. But the one on the left is the first time my daughter rolled. So we'd given her all this time down on the ground so she can just kind of start messing and playing with stuff. And then she kind of accidentally rolled over. And so I, I just want to show how, how that actually happens. So if you watch her pelvis, kind of comes up and down this way. Shoulder blade kind of comes down this way, right? And so we're st talking from that inside out. She uses her pelvis and her shoulder blade and her head to roll over. Those exact same, if you look at the red marks, what her pelvis and shoulder blade were doing, I want you to see the same thing on my son. So this, this right leg, he uses pelvis coming up like this. He uses his shoulder to pull that arm back. I would call that mass flexion, or that's what IPA would call that, mass flexion. We're wired for gait. So when one side's doing one thing, the other's doing the opposite. So on the left side, this left shoulder blade will come in, be coming up this way. Left pelvis will be coming down and back. Okay, so exact.